Spiders by Nick Bishop Some spiders are as small as a grain of sand. The biggest, the Goliath bird eater tarantula from South America, is as big as a page in this book. Yet all spiders share similar features. They have eight legs, fangs, spin silk, and eat other animals. At first, you might confuse them with insects, but it's easy to tell the difference. Insects have six legs, spiders have eight, and spiders never have wings. This is the Goliath bird eater tarantula. It likes to stay near its burrow on the rain first floor. It waits for prey to come close enough to A spider's body has two main parts. The back part is called the abdomen. This contains the heart, which pumps pale blue blood. Yes, blue. And the spinnerets, which makes the silk. The front, or the head part, is called the cephalorax. It has the spider's legs, eyes, fangs, brain, stomach, and two short arms, called pedipals, which the spider uses to hold its prey. This is the cream lynx spider. It's perfectly camouflaged when it hides among the leaves waiting to pounce on its insects. The long black spines on its legs are thought to help it trap its prey. Spiders eat in an unusual way. They don't chew and swallow food like you do. They drink it. First, the spider stabs its prey with its fangs and injects poisonous venom to stop it from moving. Then it dribbles digestive juices on its meal. This turns the animal's insides into soup so the spider can slurp them out. Afterward, all that's left of the prey are empty bits of skin and some wings. This is the black widow spider. It's just caught a wasp in her web. She will feed once she has wrapped it safely in silk. Most spiders have eight eyes, so they can look several ways at once. But a spider cannot see as clearly as you. Their eyes are usually very small and simple. Spiders will notice if something is moving nearby, but very often cannot see shapes very well. A few spiders have no eyes at all. They live deep inside caves where it's completely dark all the time. But they have no trouble catching prey. It's because they have other amazing senses to rely on. This is the long-jawed spider. It's a web builder. It gets its name from the very long jaws that hold the two thin fangs, which you can see folded up underneath. A spider does not have a nose or ears, at least not like you do. Even so, it has extraordinary senses all over its body. Take a look. You will see this spider is covered with hairs. Many of these sense touch or vibrations and sounds. Hairs on the spider's legs can sense the sound of a flying insect. Other organs on the feet can smell and taste things just by walking on them. A spider can even recognize the taste of its own silk by touching it. This is the huntsman spider, and it's beautifully camouflaged on the rainforest leaf. Hairs on its body and legs will sense the vibrations made by the footsteps of an approaching insect. Spider skin is made of tough stuff called chitin. It is the spider's personal body armor, as well as its skeleton. Spiders don't have bones inside their body for support. Their hard skin is like a skeleton that they wear on the outside. It protects and supports the spider's body. This hard skin does not stretch, so a spider must molt now and then as it grows. The spider finds a safe place and then slowly squeezes out of its old skin. It can take an hour and is very stressful. The spider can even shed the skin covering its eyes and the inside of its mouth. Afterward, its new skin is damp and soft like putty. 
The spider rests until its new skin dries and hardens. This is the cobalt blue tarantula and it's rolled itself into its back to molt. It is pulling the old skin off with its legs. Its new fangs look like pure white, but they'll turn dark later. Silk is the secret of spider success. Spiders make several different types, which can be sticky, stretchy, strong, or fluffy. Each has a special use for making egg sacs, wrapping prey, building webs, or make, making drag lines that the spider trails as it walks along or jumps. Silk is made by the spinnerets on the spider's abdomen. Liquid threads come out of dozens of tiny nozzles and turn solid as the spider pulls them. Spider silk is an amazing substance. It can be stronger than steel and can stretch twice its own length. Best of all, it's recyclable. A spider can eat its silk when it's finished with it. This is a black and yellow garden spider and it will use its legs to turn its prey as it wraps it with silk from the spinnerets. Spider webs are made of silk. Some webs look like old tissue paper draped on hedges. Others hang in messy tangles in the corner of your garage. But the best known is the orb web with its wonderful spirals and sticky threads. A large orb web may contain more than 100 feet of silk thread and can take about an hour to build. Most spiders build their webs at night, working by touch. Once finished, the spider sits in the middle or at the edge and holds the web so it can feel the vibrations of a trapped insect. If the prey is a dangerous wasp, the spider may cut it free. Otherwise, it wraps the prey in silk and bites. Orb web spiders have special claws and non-stick feet so that they can walk on their webs without getting stuck.